Kira Koto Katoa. After the third round of our free trade talks with the United Kingdom finished on the 9th of February and I recently caught up with their chief negotiator, I wanted to provide an update on our negotiations. During the third round, we made good progress in a number of areas, and that was aided by having now detailed proposals on the table in almost all of our 25 working groups. We were able to substantially complete our first chapter on small and medium-sized enterprises, but of course, that will be supplemented by a number of outcomes that we're continuing to work on in the negotiations that go to small business interests and trade. We also started goods market access negotiations. We exchanged offers in mid-January. And while fans of the America's Cup will be pleased to hear that sailboats are tariff-free, it's pretty clear in a number of other areas we've got a lot of work to do. We'll also be starting government procurement market access negotiations at the fourth round, which is due to begin on the 12th of April. This good progress was aided by a comprehensive presentation by Māori leader and Tomata member Tataru White on the range of uh, Māori interests in trade and also expectations for an agreement with the UK. The round we concluded by a webinar where I was joined by the UK team and we were answering a number of questions put to us by stakeholders on just where the negotiations are at and on some key issues of interest, including consumer protection, labour rights, intellectual property and digital trade. If you missed that webinar, we'll be putting up some Q&A on our website shortly. We continue to reach out to New Zealanders uh, keen to engage, meet uh, on their, to discuss their interests in this negotiation. If you'd like to meet with us, just drop us a line, or if you'd like to sign up for our FTA alerts, also drop us an email at ukfta at mfat.gov.nz. We look forward to hearing from you.